in for our anatomy scan at 18 weeks to find out that we were having a girl and they just noted on our record that they didn't see the bladder so they scheduled me to come back in a few weeks later. Mom um, did a lot of research online, spoke with many care providers both locally and in other states to try to decide where it was going to be best um, for her baby to be cared for in the immediate um, neonatal period. You know, you want a normal life for your child, you want her to be healthy, and that was the fear of not knowing what was going to be. So I know we both emotionally, you know, like broke down, thinking what's going to happen. So it was very uh, nerve-wracking, especially, you know, excited because we're about to have a baby, yet worried at the same time about what we're going to encounter and what her care is going to be like when she's born. Addison came to our attention because mother had reached out with an email. Uh, mom is Tracy Roberts, who had a prenatal diagnosis that made her fairly certain that her baby was going to be born with classic bladder extrophy. So bladder extrophy is very rare. Um, it affects about one in 35,000 newborns, so which is very rare as these things go. The problem in these cases is that the, the bladder failed to roll into a tube or into a sphere and the urethra that you urinate through failed to roll into a tube. And so basically the initial operation at least is just a matter of kind of freeing up the bladder and rolling it into a tube and putting it back where it belongs. You know, in our gut we knew that we were good right here in Cleveland with Dr. Ross and then when we went Dr. Wu, we were even more, you know, she's very confident in her abilities as a surgeon, so. We just felt instantly comfortable with her. It, just meeting her for the first time, you just, it was just that reassuring feeling that we didn't get meeting other urologists. I think our role is to reassure them that, okay, you've got this baby, everything else seems to be working, we've got this, you know, problem, we know how to fix it, and we'll make sure that that happens. You're operating on, you know, a pretty young baby, um, so it's challenging for the anesthesiologist. Uh, so it's really important to have a, a great pediatric anesthesia team, which we did. Uh, the orthopedic surgeon is very involved because it's not just the bladder, but the whole pelvic bone is also open and needs to be closed. Um, and so Dr. Liu, who's an orthopedic surgeon here, who's done these with us in the past, uh, is also an extremely important part of the team. It might be premature for us to, to say things are perfect and great, but as far as we can tell, she's exceeded our expectations. She's on target. She's like any other healthy, happy one-year-old. I think her parents are ecstatic. Well, our ultimate goal is to help people live better, happier lives. And, and so part of that is making them comfortable with what's going on, helping them understand what's going on, feel some control over what's going on. Um, so I think that's all a really important part of our job. I mean, just being a technician, uh, you know, you could probably ultimately train anyone with enough experience to do an operation, to do any specific operation. But I think these other things are really important, you know, part of taking care of the patient and, and the family. I couldn't be happier. I, I have my perfect family. The minute she was born, I felt like our family was complete. We have our, our boys and now I have my little girl and just, we don't have anywhere to go but up. She's a little miracle. <laughs>